It's so beautiful out here. There's nothing better than going glamping. Glamping? <laughs> Glamorous camping. Everyone named Griselda is glamping these days. The Nine Eye Tree. We're officially ready for Camp Out Yeti style. Almost officially ready. Nope, too hard. <laughs> too soft. Too leafy. Ah, oh, that's just right. <laughs> Maybe too good a job. Hmm, I think this cat nap needs a Yeti wake up call. Oh, Earth! Hi! Hi! <laughs> Bye! Bye! Wahoo! Hi! Last stop, Yeti Village. Oh, look! The campers are here. Oh, yeah! Yeti camping is on! Oh, yeah. Hi, everyone! Welcome to Camp Out Yeti Style. Oh. Are you excited to learn all about the Yeti tradition? <laughs> Oh, is that a Yeti tradition? It is. Having fun is a Yeti specialty. So is recycling. Your sleeping bags are made entirely out of fallen leaves. Oh! And when you wake up in the morning, you've got a nice, healthy breakfast. Yeah! Uh -oh. <laughs> Great! Well, that Yeti tradition looks like a lot of fun. I want to try that. Sure. Everybody grab a Yeti buddy and have... This is so much fun! <laughs> Thanks for the delivery, Erg! Yeti dinner is served! Oh, everything looks good enough to eat! That was delicious, thank you. Uh, now, uh, what should I do with my plate? Is there garbage? <laughs> Yetis don't believe in garbage. They reuse everything. <laughs> <laughs> including the plates, which are edible. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, mm, mm, oh, you know, this tastes pretty good for a plate. Huh, I was right. Mm. Everything is good enough to eat. Now that we've seen some Yeti traditions, do you think they'd like to learn some of ours? Definitely. What were you thinking? Well, when we camp out, we like to gather around, do some dancing, and roast Nummelberry marshmallows. Oh, yeah, I love that. And the best part is, we do it at night. You know what? Oh, the Yeti's only like daylight. They never go out after dark. Ah! Never. Ah! Ever. Oh, message received. Guess we'll only have to collect half the Nummelberries now. Would you like some help getting ready for nighttime? Oh! Come on, B. Um, mm, got any dessert plates? Mmm, <laughs> now that's hospitality. Mm. <laughs> oh, B. Can I ask you why you don't go out at nighttime? <laughs> You're scared of the dark? Hey, me too. That's why I always carry a security blanket and a security snack. And a security best friend. <laughs> Always. So, what do you do to feel safe when it gets dark? Whoa! Is this a Nine Eye fruit? I've never seen one before. So pretty. <laughs> oh, the Yetis have been using the Nine Eyes for thousands of years. <laughs> It helps them feel safe at night. It's too bad the 
Yetis can't join us at our camp out. Yeah, well, I heard they don't like being outside when it's dark. Well, maybe they need some lights, like those ones up there. <gasps> hey, that gives me an idea. Yeah! Oh, look how bright we made it. Now the Yetis can join us for camp out. Yay! I'll call them. Oh, Yetis! <laughs> We found some nice lights for you! Oh, can you hear how excited they are? Nailed it! Oh, and here they come now to thank us. That's probably it. I'll be right back. Is everyone okay? We heard howls. Unhappy howls. Don't worry, True. I'll turn off those bright nine eye lights. No! <laughs> the Yetis are scared of the dark and they need those nine eyes to feel safe. Oh, I feel terrible. It's not your fault. You didn't know, but those Yetis won't be able to go night night without their nine eyes. Let's just turn those nine eyes back on. There must be a switch or something. We can't turn them back on? We have to get new ones from the nine eye tree? What about these little lights? Couldn't they work instead? Those lights are nice, but they're too small. And not nearly bright enough. No, the only thing we can do is get more nine eyes. A great plan. Um, we'll wait till morning and leave when it's sunny, right? I don't think the Yetis can last that long in the dark, Bee. Where is the nine eye tree? Deep in the never ending forest. Uh, how deep? Oh, so really deep. Can you show us the way? <laughs> Don't be scared. Don't worry, we'll be fine. We'll stick together. And I'll go get some wish help. <laughs> oh, Cumulo! We'll be back before you know it. Till then, stay together. Yeah, there's safety in numbers. Unless you're a fishy poof cracker. To the wishing tree, please, Cumulo. Thanks, Cumulo. Back in a minute. Z, the camp of night is ruined. True, Bartleby. Is everything all right? I heard howls. No, everything is not all right. Those are Yeti howls. Why are the Yetis howling? Because they're scared of the dark. Not that there's anything wrong with that. That's right. And the citizens accidentally put out their nine-eye lights, and now everyone is upset. <gasps> they put out their nine-eye lights? But the Yetis have been using those for thousands of years. We know! First things first, let's sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, we need to find the Nine-Eye tree so we can bring back more Nine-Eyes to the Yeti village. But Snick's too scared of the dark to show us the way. So we need a way to light our path through the forest and keep Snick and Bartleby calm. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Share your wonderful wishes with me. Oh. Wishing tree, share with me. Tiny wishes, one, two, three. Wishing tree, please share with me. Bamba, sir. Wishes are incredible. I can't wait to see what
what the Wishipedia says about their powers? First up, we have Woe Glow. Hi again, Woe Glow. I could never forget your bright personality. <laughs> As you know, Woe Glow is a light wish. It can illuminate any space, no matter how dark it is. Even say, I don't know, the never-ending forest at night dark? <laughs> don't worry, Bee. Woe Glow can brighten any path. Next, we have Bumbershoot. Bumbershoot has fantastic parachute powers. <laughs> Bumbershoot can float you down to the ground safely from any height. That'll come in handy if we get stuck somewhere really high. Uh-huh, that's a little Are we planning on getting stuck somewhere really high? And finally, we have Gravidity. Gravidity is super sticky and stretchy. It can help you grab things from far away. That's amazing! I'm not sure how we'll use your power, Gravidity, but if you like adventure, stick with us. Gravidity! Oh. Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. Let's go find the Nine Eye Tree. Oh no, we don't have any wishes to help the Yetis. Oh, I have an idea. Be right back. Okay, we'll meet you on Cumulo. Bring snacks. No. Okay. <sighs> Is that the snack bag? No snacks. Just ingredients for a glow potion to help the Yeti stay calm until you get back. Great idea! Let's go! Hi! Hi, Yetis! This is my friend Z. He's here to help. Hi! Um, hello! True, I didn't realize there'd be such a big crowd. I'm used to potioning in front of small groups. You'll do great, Z. Pro tip, maybe don't go overboard with the science talk. But not all my talk is science talk. Well, good luck with that. Snick, are you ready to show us the way to the Nine-Eye Tree? to bring you Radiant Energy! Uh, I mean, I'm here to bring you Illumination! Uh -huh. I'm here to bring you Light! <laughs> Observe. Stick, if you're saying this is a gloomy, dark, and spooky, shadowy forest, I'm right with you. It is getting pretty dark out here, but I've got just the thing. It's time for my first wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Woe Glow! Wish come true! Hi, Woe Glow. Can you light up this gloomy forest for us? This, um, gloomy, dark, spooky shadow, so many scary words forest? <laughs> See? Much better. All right, okay. You know, uh, things are looking up. I can see the ground. I can see the trees. I can see my fishy poof crackers. Oh, oh, can we stop for a quick snack break, Drew? Sure, Bee. How about a little rest, Woe Glow? Woe Glow! One for Snick, and one for True, and one for the giant scary plant creature. Ah! Oh! It's just this cute little flower's shadow. See? Okay, it's gone. <sighs> Thank goodness. Everybody relax! Don't do that shadow thing again, K-True. Not all shadows are scary, Bee. Some are fun. Here, you shine Woe Glow on my hands. Hey, it's me! I'm famous! <gasps> Rainbow King! <laughs> Delightful daffodil! I'm so Please do you like my shadow puppet show? <laughs> You're so good at making us not scared, Drew. I couldn't do it without my lovely assistant, Woe Glow. Oh, sorry. I know it's in here somewhere. Aha! Ah. Nope, not that. <laughs> uh, yes, Holly. 
pollen from Rainbow King's favorite flower. Oh. And celestial particles. Uh. I mean star sprinkles. A good scientist always knows when to check on his experiment. Nice try, Forrest. You. That might sound like a huge waterfall, but uh, I'm sure it's just a... <laughs> <laughs> I do not remember a waterfall being here. We've never been here before, B. Oh, yeah, that's why I don't remember it. Snick, is the Nine-Eye tree down there? Oh, yeah! She said all we have to do is follow the river. Uh, how are we supposed to get down there? Easy, we're going to jump. I was afraid you'd say that. Bartleby, we're going to have to be brave. The Yetis are depending on us to bring the Nine-Eye light back to the village. Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Bumbershoot! Wish come true! Hi, Bumbershoot! Can you help us float down safely from here? Ah, Bumbershoot! Glow Glow, you sit on my shoulder, okay? Bumbershoot, we need you to get as big as you can. Uh-huh. Okay, everyone. One, two, three, jump! getting kind of tired. Is that Nine-Nine tree close by? Ooh! Nine-Nine! <laughs> well, I guess that's the Nine-Nine tree. Oh! Thanks for your help, Woglo. Woglo! Now back in the pack. Uh, true. Why is the Nine-Nine tree so dark? I don't know. Let's go take a closer look. <laughs> Stick says the Nine-Eye tree is all lit up during the day. Then why do you think it looks so different at night? Oh. oh. It's sleeping. Of course it's all dark. Even Nine-Eye trees go to bed. So how do we wake it up? all those nine-eyes. But true, they're so high up. How are we going to get them down? It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Grabadiddy. Wish come true. Grabadiddy. Hi, Grabadiddy. I need your super sticky power to help us catch all those nine-eyes. Uh-huh. Yeah. Let's get grabbing, Grabadiddy. Grab-a-diddy! Way to grab, Grab-a-diddy! Thanks 
for your help, grab a diddy. Grab a diddy! Now back in the pack. We're sorry to wake you, Nye Nye Tree, but my friends and I were visiting the Yetis and we, uh... Somebody threw water on the Nye Nye lights and they just went out. Wasn't me, just saying. A anyway, the Yetis are a little afraid of the dark. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Mm. Is it okay if we borrow some of your Nye Nyes? Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you, Nine Eye Tree. Thanks. Mm -hmm. We'd better get back to Yeti Village. Sweet dreams, Nine Eye Tree. Nine Eye. Nine -Eye. Nine -Eye. <sighs> I'm sorry. All my potions are destroyed. There's nothing else I can do to bring you light. Hey, there's some light. Those look like Nine Eye lights. Hey, it's Drew, Bartleby, and Snake. Hi, we're back. Hi, everybody. <laughs> now we have enough Nine Eyes to light the entire Yeti village. And I wasn't afraid of the dark or my shadow. <laughs> well, maybe a little. I just want to say how truly sorry we really are. It's just that we got so caught up in the Yeti traditions. We didn't realize we were causing any harm. Well, isn't there anything we can do to help the Yetis now? Hmm. <laughs> I am awesome! Great job, Bartleby! <laughs> hey, I forgot you were in there, True. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks a lot, B. Just setting up the sleeping bags. It's so beautiful out here. There's nothing better than going... The lamping! The lamping? <laughs> Glamorous camping. Everyone named Griselda is glamping these days. I still can't believe she agreed to come with us. There's dirt here. <laughs> you know camping is supposed to be roughing it, right? Oh, believe me, I know. I didn't even pack my sparkly bubble wash. Isn't that right, Froogie? <gasps> A puppy? Just the helper I need to find my long lost treasure. <laughs> Who wants a snack? I brought... Sparkly sandwiches? Who packed these? Those are glam witches. They're tasty and gorgeous. Just ask my fruity kins. He loves them. Nibbles time. <laughs> fruity? Glampers don't scamper. Hey. Be Fluffy, there's nothing better than a puppy, puppy, a puppy, I say! So fluffy and sniffy, snuffing out treasure in a jiffy. Come get your glam witch! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, true puddles! He definitely went in here. No! My snuggle pops will get washed in this big, horrible, nasty. Maze! It's a maze! And it isn't nasty, it's breathtaking. And you can't go in! Hey, follow me! Don't worry, True. I'll find a little drill machine in here. Somewhere. 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 
who are you? Oh, clearly you've never heard of a maze troll before. We're meanies. Though, when I'm not guarding this maze, I'm actually quite nice. Why would anyone build something so unglamorous? <laughs> to hide my precious treasure from those who would try and steal it. But now my precious treasure's in there. For good reason. Between you, me, and the tree, I built this maze so big and tricky that no one can find my treasure. <laughs> Not even me. But a dog with nose powers, oh, your puppy pooch will find my treasure for sure. Mr. Troll, both our friends are in there now. We have to find them. <sighs> Fine. But the only way to enter my maze is to solve a riddle. How many berries from these baskets of plenty can you eat before your stomach is no longer empty? Oh, I'll find out. Wait, Griselda, we have to count them as you eat one by one. By one? <gasps> the answer is one. What? That can't be right. I've eaten way more than one berry. The riddle said, how many berries can you eat before your stomach's no longer empty? If you eat one berry, it's not empty anymore. Riddle sticks! That is correct. Oh, you may enter. <laughs> but first, let me give you a sneak peek inside. Whoa. Whoa! Fantastic, isn't it? One hallway becomes more hallways. Then doors begin popping up. Pretty soon, everything's all twisty and turny. And where will that leave you to? Hopelessly! <laughs> As I said, you are free to enter. But that doesn't mean you can stay in. Ooh, <laughs> I just gave myself a shiver saying that. <laughs> I am such a good meanie. What do we do, True? We'll never find Fruki and Bartleby in that maze. Don't worry, Griselda. We'll get them out of there. But we need some wish help to do it. If you're going to the wishing tree, then I'm coming too. You bet you are. The only way we can do this is if we do it together. Oh, Cumula! <laughs> to the wishing tree, Cumulo! <laughs> Griselda. The Wishes and I are camping. <laughs> These three have even earned their merit badges. <laughs> camping sure is fun. Are we still talking about that? Camping was so five minutes ago. We're actually not here about camping. We're here about a maze. A maze? Ooh, I love puzzles. It sounds like fun. It's a giant maze that Fruki and Bartleby are trapped in. Oh, that's a lot less fun. Let's sit and have a think about this. No thanks. Princesses don't sit on mushrooms. Ah, put me down! Stay calm. Ah! Shh, shh. You'll be okay. The mushroom will come back down. Eventually. How can the wishing tree help, True? Well, this maze is really tricky. Ah! Walls that move around and everything. Ah! We need a wish that can keep us from getting lost. Ah! Help! I'm stuck up here! Stuck? Yes! If we get stuck in the maze, we'll need a wish to help us get unstuck. Thanks, Griselda. Ah! You're welcome. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your wonderful wishes with me. Please share your Magic power in the wind. 
These are some fantastic wishes. Let's see what the Wishopedia says about them. Your first wish uh, is dot spot. It can make as many dots as you need. Perfect. We can use dot spot to find our way back out of the maze so we don't get lost. We'll just follow the dots. Polka dots are fabulous. This is a wish with style. Your second wish is rope room. This rope wish is a great help for when you need to climb things or to tie things together. That might be handy for pulling us out of a tricky spot. Mm -hmm. And lastly, you have Sloth Bee. A rare and oh. unusual wish indeed. This wish can put anything into slow motion. That's incredible! <laughs> I'm just not sure how slowing things down can help save our friends. I'm sure you'll find a way, True. I have to agree. And I'm always right. Thank you, Z. And thank you, Wishing Tree, for sharing your wishes with me. Bye, Z! Have fun with your camping whatever. Good luck, you two. I'm sure you'll do amazing. <laughs> Fruki! Fruki! Whoa, what's up with that? How do I get out of here? I should warn you, my Ninja Kitty skills are set for awesome. Fruki! Oh, am I happy to see you! Yeah, I was happy to see you. Okay, now careful where you step around here. This maze is filled with booby traps. Run! And we're trapped. Huh? Huh? Hey! Uh, get back here! Fruki, we have to get out of this maze! Hey, okay, give, give me a boost. Fruki, this is no time to be sitting on your behind. <laughs> yeah! I take it back. Your behind is the best. <laughs> Wait for me! For me! Did you hear that? That's Bartleby! We're going the right way! But how do we keep going the right way? There's so many hallways! We'll work together to find the right ones. But before we can go any further, let's make sure we can find our way back out of this maze. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, dark spot! Wish come true! <laughs> dot spot, can you leave a trail of dots behind us as we walk? rub Whoa! Sparkly pink? It's like he knows me. Fruki, where are Bo. you? Bartleby! Bo. Bo. Oh, very clever. The nice troll part of me would just leave these dots. But I need that dog to find my long lost treasure. So, mean troll it is. We've been walking forever. <laughs> Why does this keep happening? Griselda, look. You've fallen here before. That means we've been here before. We're walking around in circles. No way. How is that possible? I don't know. Dot Spot's still dotting, so we should have known. <laughs> Unless the troll's been stealing our dots. Oh, he is a big meanie. Without those dots to show us where we've been, we'll never get back out. We'll solve that problem later. Right now, we have to stop the troll from stopping us. Dot Spot, can you make us one big giant dot? Rabadoo! <laughs> Thanks, Dot Spot. That troll's gonna have fun trying to pick up this dot. 
Come on! <laughs> huh? A big dot? Like that? <laughs> Stop! Me! Oh, oh, oh. Spooky, hold on! We'll never get out of this maze if we get stuck. Okay, I'll go first, then you. <laughs> what did I just say? <laughs> ah, troll! Whew, it's just a door painted like a troll. Yay! Ah, troll! Oh, just another freaky troll door. This one's worse than the last. I get that a lot. <laughs> to keep going through my maze, you need to answer another riddle. If you don't solve the riddle by the time this bird bath sinks into the floor, you must leave my maze forever! <laughs> riddle us your riddle, Mr. Troll. We're ready. Ahem. <clears throat> it's the part of the bird that's not in the sky. It can go in the bird bath, and yet it stays dry. What is it? can go in the bird bath, yet it stays dry. Maybe it's a smelly armpit. Oh, I can't get a good look at it. Quick, try catching it! Hiya! Womp! This bird is too quick. We have a better chance of catching its shadow. Shadow? The bird is in the sky, but its shadow is on the ground. And its shadow can go in the bird bath and not get wet. I know what the answer is. It's shadow! Riddle sticks. Right again. Yay! You may pass. Again. But I'll be around every corner to give you more riddles until you finally give up. See you soon. I mean, see you soon. How are we ever going to stop this troll from stopping us? Let's think about this. We need to get away from him, but he knows this maze inside out. Yeah, he's sneaky. We just have to slow him down enough so we can catch up to Fruki and Bartleby. And I have just the wish. Slothby! Guess who's back? Who that thought? Zip Zap Zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Slothby! Wish come true! Hi, Slothby. Let's put the brakes on this riddle ridiculous troll. <laughs> huh? Here's your next riddle. What jumps in the air? <laughs> but never <laughs> comes down. You! <laughs> Ta ta! Slowpoke. Stay with him, Slothby, and keep him nice and slow. Way. Whoa. You couldn't have waited until I went through first? Princess is first! You know that! Fruki's <sighs> collar! Blech. Remind me to add this to the Grismo's laundry list. Fruki! Where are you, my smelly collar kins? Smelly's with me! Over here! Wherever here is! Bartleby! We're coming! Must block them! Furky, we're coming! Uh. Uh. <laughs> oh, Bartleby! <laughs> Troll! What is with this crazy maze? So frustrating! <laughs> Fruki, now is not the time for... Wait, you're behind Save Us last time? Keep going! Work that tail, boy! <laughs> you did it! Uh-oh. Ah! Fruki? Bartleby? True! I am so glad to see you! Did you miss me? <laughs> of course, Bartleby. Are you two okay? Yes, but we're trapped down here and Fruki's thinking about giving more drooly kisses. Help! Help! We'll get you out right away. Oh. Slothby? Oh. No, you're out of power. That 
must mean? <gasps> yes, it's me again. No more riddles for you two. I'm kicking you both out of my maze. Now! Hold on. This pit. I remember now. This is where I buried my treasure. <laughs> the doggy found it! Kick off my magic shillelagh! Riddle sticks. I can't get them out of that pit without my shillelagh. I am not leaving this awful maze without my frugikins. Do you understand me? Yes. Wow, you'd make a really good maze troll, you know that? Don't worry. I have a wish that can help get everyone out of there. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Make a throw Roo. Wish come true! Hi, Roo. I need your roping help to pull our friends out of this pit. Can you help us? Rope, 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 rope! Grab on, you two! Got it! Why are we moving? Fruki, let go of that thing! No! It's my treasure! He's got it! Your treasure is no good if our friends can't bring it up because they're stuck down there! Oh, this is all my fault. I need to fix this. I'm coming to save you, Poochie. And me. Yes! Riddle sticks. Now I need a new shillelagh. And I'm not strong enough to do this on my own. Yeah, that dog has jaws of steel. Mr. Troll, we can help each other out of this mess. You oh? want us to work with him? He's been trying to stop us all day. The only way we'll get everyone out is by working together, Griselda. You got it! Ready, Roparoo? Uh-huh. Ready, Griselda? Uh-huh. I wish working together didn't mean having to hold a stinky feet. Ew! I watched them just last year. <laughs> oh, that's never good. <clears throat> Uh-oh. No! Grab my hand! Come on, drill machine! Let's go! Pull with me, Roparoo! Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 oh, we did it! <laughs> Great job, Roparoo! Roparookikins! <laughs> <laughs> My treasurekins! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, everyone! Working together did the trick! I knew it would! Your treasure's a dog bone? Yeah, a dog bone. That's why I needed a puppy to find it. <gasps> you put my precious Fruki through all of this just to get a little glittery dog bone? You are a meanie. <laughs> You're right. I've been such a meanie to you today. It's just to stop people from coming in the maze and getting lost. I hope you can forgive me. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, here, this is for you. You kept saying you were a mean troll, but you can be a nice one, too. You just gave your treasure to my oh. treasure. Wow, <laughs> how can I resist this little cutie? I suppose it wouldn't hurt if you visit Fruki now and then. Really? Oh, thank you, thank you! Princess Group Hug! Oh. Uh, how are we gonna get out of here? <laughs> Follow that super sniffer! Hey, glamping! What's glamping? It's sparkly. You'll like it. Come on! <laughs> <laughs> Itty bitty yeti. Uh-oh. Uh, well... Okay, 
some balance issues. Perfect execution. <laughs> hey, look at that cloud! It's a kitty natty ninja cat. Like me. Hmm, are you sure? Because that kitty natty doesn't look like it's falling down at all. <laughs> Good one, True. Up top! Ha! <sighs> Bartleby, look. Is that what I think it is? Oh, you mean that cloud shaped like a fishy poof cracker? <laughs> oh, yeah. But I meant a little lower, in the tree. Aw, it's a cute little birdie. That's not just any cute little birdie. It's a birdaloo. <gasps> you mean the magical bird that only appears when a baby is being born in the Rainbow Kingdom? Yes. Someone, Someone is, is having, having a baby. Use that one. Oh, I, I got it. How about 
Bartleby! No, no, I already wrote that down. <laughs> oh, B. Whatever name the Yetis choose, I'm sure it's going to be one cute baby. I wonder how Erg and Snick are doing anyway. <laughs> I'm sure they're doing great. <laughs> Erg! What's wrong? I didn't know. Whoa, whoa. Really? You'd better come inside. Uh, come on in. <laughs> Please make yourself at home. Have a seat. Ooh. So, what's happening, Erg? <laughs> you can't find your pink underwear? I have that same problem. Mm -hmm. uh -uh. Sorry, you were talking really fast. Here, have some tea. It'll make you feel better. Works for me. Uh-huh. <sighs> <sighs> Nothing beats a cup of warm, crunchy tea. <sighs> 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 <gasps> the Bertaloo is upset? <laughs> because it's too noisy in Yeti Village? <laughs> now that can't be good. Uh -uh. We need to go see what the problem is. Pronto! Come on! If we hurry, we can catch the bus. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Non-stop service to the Yeti Village. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Erg. I'm sure everyone will be quiet once we get there. Huh? Seller, Yeti sweaters, muddled by Fruki, of course. Yeti Baby Palooza? This is terrible! Agreed! Yeti Baby Bonanza sounds way better. I only told Griselda because I know she loves babies. I didn't think everyone would find out. Yeti! Baby! Baby! Yeti! This is all my fault! This is way too loud for the Bertaloo, isn't it? Uh, the Bertaloo! Oh, oh, oh. The Bertaloo's flying away? We have to do something! Is everything okay? Oh. The noise from the crowd must be bothering Bertaloo! Huh? Oh. 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 Hi. Don't worry. We'll find a way to calm the Bertaloo down. She seems pretty upset. Yeah, I think you're right, Bertleby. Wait a minute. Looks like she's heading for the window. Oh, no, you don't. Whew. She's trying to get out. Wait, now she's heading for that window over there. Uh, sorry, Bertaloo. Hey, look! It's the Yeti Baby! Yay! Baby! Oh, no! Your poor house! Oh, wow, this is different. I don't know, Erg. Where did the Bertaloo go? Hmm. Ooh. The Bertaloo! Oh! Oh dear! Mama Yeti looks kind of cold. Let's give her a Yeti sweater. I want one of those too. You're in luck. It's two for one Yeti sweater! Yes! Everybody! Hello! Yeah! Woo it's no use. They 
can't hear me. What? I can't hear you! I have to fix this. We need wish help. Cumulo, I need you! We'll be right back. To the wishing tree, please. Go, go, Cumulo! True and Bartleby. The Yetis need our help. I know. I've already started on this lovely little gift basket. No, they need a different kind of help. When I heard they were having a baby, I got all excited and had to share the news. And now everybody's way too excited, singing and cheering and buying silly souvenirs. There's a big crowd at the Yeti village making a huge racket. The Bertaloo got really scared and Erg tried to catch it, but ended up knocking the whole house down. And without their house or the Bertaloo, the Yetis can't have their baby! Negative electrons! That is a serious problem. But sit and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, first I need to fix Erg and Snick's house. Right. They definitely need their home to have their baby. Then, I need a way to make Erg and Snick's home quiet again so the Bertaloo can come back. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing tree, share with me. Tiny wishes, one, two, three. Da da. Wishing tree, share with me. What a winning collection of wishes! First up, we have Gogo. Ba ba! Gogo is a speed wish that can help you move super fast. Wow, Gogo, you can help us fix Erg and Snick's house in double time for the baby. Ba ba! Next, we have Hushabye. Hushabye, it's always great to see you. <laughs> Hushabai is a soothing wish. Hushabai can calm you down with its sweet, soothing music. That's how we'll make things quiet. Hushabai, you can make the whole crowd feel calm and relaxed. Mm -hmm. Finally, your third wish is Pinpoint. Oh. Pinpoint. Pinpoint has a remarkable ability. It can capture anyone's attention, and they won't be able to take their eyes off of it. A wish that likes to be the center of attention? Hmm. I can relate. <laughs> yes, Bartleby, but it actually helps people who are distracted to focus. Hmm, I'm not sure how focusing power can help, but I can't wait to find out. Uh-huh. Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Let's go help the Yetis. Thanks, Z. See ya. May the wish be with you. I'm back with some wishes. First things first, we need to fix your house. Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Gogo. -Go. Wish come true. Hi, Gogo. -Go. We need to put this house back together again. Can you help us move super fast? Go, go, go. Bartleby, you need Go Go Speedy Power too. Everyone ready? Uh huh. Get set. Go Go! Yeah. We did it! Thanks, Go Go. You did everything so fast, we hardly got to spend any time with you. Now back in the pack. Yeah. 
You're welcome. Welcome, Bertolo. Don't worry, Snake. The Bertolo will come back once I get the crowd to quiet down and be calm. Yeah, but how are we gonna do that? Wait and see. Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Hushabai! <laughs> wish come true! Hi, Hushabai. I need your lullaby power. I've got a crowd full of Yeti fans down there who are just a little bit too loud. Hushabai! Great. Okay, Hushabai. Sing us the sweetest lullaby you know. Sweet, sweet song. It's so. I don't know. Sweet, I think. La, 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 la. Did you see the new Yeti trading cards? La, 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 la. Oh, boy, this is so comfy. It's working on Bartleby, but I don't think the crowd can hear you. Let's try a little louder. <laughs> la, 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 la. It's true! Hi, Drew! Oh, and she's got a wish. It's so cute. It's not as cute as this new Yeti baby doll I just got. Get your cute baby Yeti dolls here. Squeeze them and they'll talk. Uh -huh. Mine's broken. What? What? What's going on? Did I miss the baby? It's not working, B. Hushabai. You were the perfect wish, but no one can hear you. Can you keep trying while I figure out what to do next? Uh-huh. Thanks, Hushabai. Hushabai! Huh? Don't worry, Erg. I'll get everyone to quiet down. <laughs> the Bertaloo will never come back if the crowd is this loud. And I know Hushabai could calm them down, but they aren't even paying attention to the lullaby. Bertaloo! Bertaloo! Come on, True. Focus. Wait, that's it! Keep singing, Hushabai. Help is on the way. It's time for my third wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Pinpoint! Pinpoint, I need your help to get a really excited crowd to calm down and focus. <laughs> yes, I know that's your specialty. to what True has to say. Me too. That's how I feel as well. It's working! <laughs> Sorry, True. Everyone, it's great that we're all excited for the Yeti baby, but we need to remember, this is not our home. It's the Yeti's home. <sighs> I know the Yetis are usually very noisy, but when they're going to have a baby, they need everyone to be very quiet. Whoa. You did such a great job, Wishes. Thank you so much. Now back in the pack. <laughs> now that we're all quiet, maybe we'll be able to hear a very special song by a very special bird. <laughs>
It's time for the... Shh! Remember, we have to be quiet. Oh, right. We keep forgetting. Shh! <laughs> oh, my goodness! I'm pleased to present the newest member of the Rainbow Kingdom, Brock! <laughs> The second newest member of the Rainbow Kingdom, Blue! Oh. And Yerk! Triplets! <laughs> and now, as part of the Yeti tradition, it's time for us to celebrate loudly! Actually, they said... <laughs> Which means Splashy Splashy Springs is great family fun for all ages. Well, normally I avoid squishy, splashy things, but that does sound amazing. <laughs> We're right behind you! <gasps> There's Mount Huff and Puff! Splashy Splashy Springs is supposed to be right next Well, with that giant tree in the way, we're not going to do any splishing or splashing in Splishy Splashy Springs. You're right. How are we going to move this thing? Sometimes you gotta dip your toes in and test the water. Literally. <gasps> ah! Cold! 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 <laughs> I think your toe's extra sensitive today. Trust me, you do not want to go in there. Yeah, can do that. today. Okay. You can count on me, True. I 
I'm going to go see what's bothering Mount Huffinpuff. Brock! Brock, are you okay? Oh, yeah, don't go down there yet. Okay, stay right here. Uncle Bartleby's gonna get you down. Hi! Yeah! 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 Mm. Whoa, no, please go ahead. I, I think I loosened it there for you a bit. Um, hi, Mount Huffinpuff. My name's True. <laughs> we couldn't help but notice that you seem a little upset. Is everything okay? <laughs> Oh, no! It's burning hot lava! Oh, no. That is hot lava, I think. This is not good. It's heading straight for the never-ending forest and all the creatures that live there. Yeah, I can confirm that this is definitely lava, which means we definitely have to hurry this up. Yum! Yum! be boiling hot to the touch, but it's perfect if you're in the market for a tasty treat! Yeah! <laughs> okay, the first one always gets burned. Okay, so maybe we have to wait for this lava to cool down a little bit. In the meantime, we can, uh, let's see, uh, well, what do we have here? We have rocks! Some more rocks over there, and, uh, boy, <laughs> a lot of rocks in this cave, uh, I don't know, um, want to do a fun craft? <laughs> That's the spirit! Thanks, Cumulo. Be right back. Fascinating. Z, Z, Mount Huff and Puff is erupting! Oh, hi, True. And I know, I've been watching on my face bubble. Tell me what happened. Bartleby and I were there when it all started. Hey, wait a sec. Where is Bartleby? Trapped with the Yetis, surrounded by lava. They're actually on Mount Huffinpuff? Why? The Yetis took us to Splishy Splashy Springs, and then the ground started shaking. First, I thought we made the mountain mad, but then I thought it looked sad. Now I'm not sure, but Bartleby and the Yetis are trapped by hot lava. And even worse, the lava's flowing down the mountain toward the never-ending forest. And Yeti Village! And all the critters that live in the forest! Blistering basalt! This is serious! Let's sit... and have a think. <sighs> okay, True, how can the Wishing Tree help you? Well, the first thing to do is rescue Bartleby and the Yetis from the lava. Good thinking! Then, when everyone is safe, 
We have to stop the lava from reaching the forest. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. says about their powers. First up is Thermo. Thermo. Thermo can handle any temperature, hot or cold, and not feel a thing. Ah. Thermo is very protective. You're just the wish I need to get across the hot lava, Thermo. Next up is Diggy Dug. <laughs> Diggy Dug loves getting dirty. It can also move tons of dirt in no time. Perfect. Diggy Dug, you can dig a big hole to hold all the hot lava. Diggy Dug. Diggy Dug. And your third wish is Elongi. Hi, Elongi. Elongi. Elongi is a stretching wish. It can stretch super long, like a rubber band. Elongi. I'm not sure how you can help with Mount Huff and Puff, but it's hardly a stretch to see you're always helpful. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> Thanks for everything, Z. Anytime, True. Good luck. Okay, and just a little rock here and there. Nailed it. Looks just like the Rainbow King. <laughs> Sometimes I impress even myself. <sighs> All right, my Yeti friends, let's see what you came up with. <laughs> oh, come now, don't be shy. This is your first rock sculpture after all. And remember, Uncle Bartleby is a bit of a pro. <laughs> 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 Yes, well, uh, not too bad for a first try, a little crude, but hey, we can't all be master stone workers. <laughs> With a little help from Uncle Bartleby, you three have a lot of potential. Bartleby! I'm back to get everybody off the mountain! True! Oh, too bad we can't finish our rock sculptures. So disappointing. Oh, well. Okay, everybody, True's here, so uh, let's form a line, single file along that wall. Thank you. I'll have you guys out of there soon. Time for my first wish. Zip Zap Zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Thermo! Wish come true! Hi, Thermo. Thermo! That lava is really, really hot. Can you handle the heat? Ah! Mom, mom, mom. Thermo! Allie! All right, let's go, Thermo! Zip 
Zip Zap Zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Diggy Dog! Wish come true! Hi, Diggy Dog! There's a big river of lava headed straight for us. Never, never. Can you dig a hole big enough to hold it all? No, no. Never. Yay! Uh, okay, Diggy Dog, let's get digging. <laughs> Not true! The lava's getting really close! Almost done! Yeah. Great job, Diggy Dog! Let's get out of here. <laughs> you saved the forest! Thanks for everything, Diggy Dog. Now tuck yourself in. It's not really a mad face. This is a mad face. Grrr! <laughs> Times better if we took it out. But Snick couldn't even pull it out, even after I loosened it for her. I'm sure we'll think of something. Yeah, well, it's hard to, to think of anything with all this rumbling going on. <laughs> You're right, Bartleby. Let's go try and get Mount Huff and Puff to calm down. Cumulo! seem strong enough to pull a tree out of a geyser. I think you're right. So let's have a think. Okay. Mount Huff and Puff is trying to blow the log out of its side. But every time it tries, it just blows out its top instead. Maybe Elongi could cover the top so that when Mount Huff and Puff blows, the log gets pushed out instead. That's it! Mount Huff and Puff, we have a plan. It's going to be a little uncomfortable for a minute, but then it'll feel better. You're going to have to be brave and trust me, okay? <laughs> Great! It's time for my third wish. Zip Zap Zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Elongi! Wish come true! Hi, Elongi. Here's the plan. You're going to stretch all the way across the top of Mount Huff and Puff and hold on tight. Can you do it? Uh -huh. You're the best, Elongi. T 
Take us a little closer, please, Cumulo. would agree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thanks for bringing us here, Ergen Snick. This turned out to be a pretty fun outing after all. Yeah, although it's too bad the water was so cold in Splishy Splashy Springs. I was really looking forward to taking a dip. Whoa! <laughs> Not again! <laughs> ah, it's cold! <laughs> Not cold? Wait a minute. Is that steam? It's warm, like nature's bathtub. <sighs> now this is water I can handle. I think this is Mount Huffinpuff's way of saying thank you. Thank you, Mount Huffinpuff! Yeah, you really saved the day! <sighs> wow! wow. Next stop, Yaddy Village. Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? Are we there yet? <laughs> Bartleby, we just left, but I can't blame you for being excited. I can't wait to babysit the Yeti triplets. Me too. Eee! Yeah, three Yeti babies equals three times the fun, which is why... I packed all my toys. I just didn't know if they'd be into squeaky toys. <laughs> or tinfoil balls or silly faces. <laughs> I'm sure the Yeti babies will love your toys. Thanks for bringing them, Bartleby. And thank you, Griselda, for coming along to help. Oh, it's no problem. After all, I am a pro when it comes to babies. Look, I brought my How to Raise a Fruity book. Written by the most fabulous writer I know, me. A whole chapter on baby talk? I'm fluent. Listen. Is little baby Bartleby excited to see the Yeti Weddies? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, she's good. Yeah. <laughs> you are a baby expert. Mm hmm. I raised Fruki all by myself, and he turned out perfectly. Mm -hmm. Babysitting is going to be easy. Right, well, we just have to remember, though, not to actually sit on the babies, okay, Grizz? No baby sitting. Look, I have a whole chapter on how not to sit on the babies. Mm. Last stop, Yeti Village. We're here! This is going to be so great! Hey! Hi, Erg. We are so 
ready to babysit your fuzzy little triplets. I've got my Fruki training book. And I brought all my toys. Hi, Hi Snick. Hi. Babies. Yuck. <laughs> Yuck. Fluff. Aw, they're almost cute enough to be princesses. Oh, okay. The babies just had their nap. I love marble man. And they had some numble berries. And now it's ready! Ah. And now they're ready for playtime! Did someone say playtime? No, not that, not that. No, no, yes, yes! Hmm, what should we play? Fetch? Chase your tail round and round? Smother Bartleby with kisses? Brokey can play that for hours. Whoa, 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 whoa! Don't you, don't! Aww. No! Bye! See you at sunset! We'll make sure they're in bed by then. All right, cuties. Who's ready for some true tickles? Hey, where'd they go? <laughs> I have Grok! Correction, I had Grok. Bloof, <laughs> nobody touches the crown. <laughs> Girl, Uncle Barnaby's arms are getting a little tired. I'm just gonna put you down for a second. Okay, who wants to go for a kitty back ride? Huh? What? <laughs> there you are, you silly girl. <sighs> Whoa! Phew. Way to ninja catch, B. <laughs> Bundles of fun outside. Where things are less breaky. <laughs> Who wants to go for a little carriage ride? <laughs> Wait, we need toys. My Fruki Schmookums never leaves home without his favorite chew toy. <laughs> B, what do you have? Well, let's see. I got the uh, squeaky mousy. No. Uh, yarn ball. A any takers? Hmm. Tough crowd. Let's see. <laughs> I know, you can't go wrong with a tinfoil ball! <gasps> the babies! They love to throw us! Playground. Okay, who wants a push from Uncle Bartleby <sighs> after he has a rest? Bloof, that is such a cute pose. Okay, now stay. I've got to face bubble this. Ready? Say I'm a cutie. Uh, uh, huh? Uh, 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 uh. Silly Floof, come down here. The only thing cuter than a princess is a princess with a Yeti baby. <laughs> <laughs> The river. <laughs> You're right, Drew. That sounds way less jumpy and crashy. See? Isn't this fun? <laughs> I think she wants to sniff around the tree. Fruki loves sniffing trees. And then he. <gasps> ah! Fruki does not do that! 
that. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, thank you, Grok, but we should put that down now. Okay? Uh, wait! I meant to put it back where it was! <laughs> Good boy, Floof. Now show Grok how to play nice with trees. That's a lot of water. We'd better go find those triplets and see what they're up to. I'm sure there's something about all of this in my How to Train Your Fruity book. Make it look so easy! This is nothing like training for you! <laughs> we need wish help. Cumulo! <laughs> that was close. Thanks, Cumulo! Griselda, will you be okay keeping an eye on the triplets? Totally. I'm in control, as always. Great. We'll be right back. To the wishing tree, please. Go, go, Cumulo! Z! Hi, True. Hey, Bartleby. How did the babysitting go? We've got a big problem. The Yeti triplets went rolling off in their carriage. And then we found them. But then they started pulling out trees. And the river got clogged and the whole Yeti village is flooded and Griselda's just floating there. And the babies are definitely not sleeping. And Erg and Snake will be home any minute now. Unbalanced equations. That is a big problem. Let's sit and have a think. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? Well, the triplets are safe, so first we need to stop the flood in Yeti Village. Good idea. You should tackle the biggest problem first. There's so much water that everything's floating. Yeah, and running on logs is way harder than it looks. It is. The triplets make it look so easy. They're impossible to catch, so we need a way to round them up. The wishing tree has heard you, True. It's time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. Wishing tree. these wishes. Now let's see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. This is Graplo. Hey ho, Graplo. Ah. Graplo has mighty grabbing power. He can grab onto anything and lift even the heaviest oh. objects. Oh yeah, ha ha. Perfect. Graplo, you can help us unblock the river. Oh. Your next wish is Hugsy. Oh, yeah. This is a fun one. Hugsy! Hugsy loves wrapping anyone in super tight hugs. Who doesn't love hugs? Hugs! hugs. 
<laughs> Hugsy, you could help us round up the triplets. <laughs> and last, but definitely not least, we have Twisty. A super strong wish. Twisty, great to see you again. <laughs> this one is a force of nature. Twisty can twist up anything, even a strong tornado. That's incredible! I'm just not sure how twisting could help with a flood or baby eddies, but I can't wait to figure it out. Oh. <laughs> Zoo zip zap, wishes in my pack. <laughs> Whoa, let's go fix Yeti Village. Thanks, Z. Bye, Z. You're welcome. Good luck. Good job watching the babies, Griselda. Oh, no problem. You know, I always knew I was a great babysitter. But now I know I'm a fantastic carriage sitter, too. <laughs> Time for some wish power, True. You got it. Cunio, take us to the bridge, please. For my first wish. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Graplo! Wish come true! Hi, Graplo! See that bridge over there? Oh uh ho! -huh. There's a big tree that's stuck underneath. Can you grab onto it and pull it out? Uh ho! -huh. Great! Okay, Graplo, get into position. Hey ho! Now, pull! Oh, hey, ha, ha. Oh. Keep trying, Graplo! Oh. Yay! Hey, look! The water's going down! I just kissed the ground. Bye, Cubilo! See you, buddy! Graplo, that was really impressive. Up top, Graplo! Ha-ha! <laughs> 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 I'm okay! Cutest plumber ever! Now tuck yourself in. Okay, now to round up those babies and get them home before sunset. Where are those cute Yeti babies anyway? Huh? That didn't really answer my question. Which way did they go? Your kid flew for swinging over there, and there, and over there. <laughs> okay, but where's Grok? That came from over there. Okay, okay. Don't worry, babies! Uncle Bartleby will get you down! Um, true. How is Uncle Bartleby gonna get them down? Hmm. <laughs> we'll give them something that babies love. Hugs! Time for my second wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Hugsy! <laughs> wish come true! Okay, Hugsy. These little yetis need your super huggy power. Oh, yeah! I love that! Now's your chance, Hugsy. It's Cuddle O'Clock! <laughs> nice squeezing, Hugsy. You can let go now. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Grog. And now to buckle you in to make sure you stay put. Come down, okay? Here you go. And then we're back. <laughs> Here comes your. Okay, Hugsy. Time for round two. Hi, Yurk. <laughs> that was fun, wasn't it? That's two babies down and one to go. <laughs> Hope your snuggle supply is high, Hugsy. <laughs> No need, True. Hugsy can sit this one out. My book has a whole chapter on what to do when your Fruki's off his leash. Come here, Floof. 
You be a good baby Yeti. <laughs> huh? <laughs> hmm. When training your Fruki, offer treats as a reward. <laughs> I've got some yummy snacky wackies. <laughs> gotcha! <laughs> Such good yetis. Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Thanks for everything, Hugsy. <laughs> now tuck yourself in. <laughs> well, that's that. Now let's get these yeti babies home in bed. <laughs> You're getting sleepy already. See, I knew babysitting was going to be easy. Yeah, it's a good thing you brought your book, Griselda. And bringing your toys was a great idea, too, Bartleby. We're a pretty good babysitting team. Oh, what a wonderful sunset. I love the way it feels on my face. Huh? Sunset? sunset? And oh, look, there's Erg and Snick returning from their big day out. <gasps> Erg and Snick? I really hope they don't see that big pile of trees over there. It's messy. Pile of trees? Oh, no, we can't leave the Yeti village like this. Cleaning up trees is not in my babysitting book. Griselda Bartleby, you need to get those Yeti babies back in bed before Erg and Snick get home. But True, who's going to clean up that mess? I'll take care of those trees. Okay, okay True, we're, we're on it. it. It's time for my third wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Wake up, Twisty. Wish come true! <laughs> Hi, Twisty. We need your help, and fast. You see all those trees over there? We need to clean them up before Mama and Papa Yeti get home. I know you can twist up a tidy tornado to lift them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 We'd better hurry up. Twist, twisty! <laughs> okay, twisty, let's put those trees down. Join Bartleby and Griselda. I'm sure they have the triplets snug in their beds by now. <laughs> okay, Twisty, now's our chance. <laughs> Whoa, oh, oh. Great job, Twisty. Thank you so much for your help. <laughs> Zoo zip zap wishes in my pack. Yeah! <coughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. <laughs> oh. Thanks for the fun day. You sure kept us on our toes. I hope you two had a lovely time. We had such a fun day with your little triplets. Oh boy, they sure do know how to play. <laughs> and good thing I was here because absolutely nothing went wrong. Here's my card. You got something for us? Oh, you shouldn't have. It was our pleasure. Love is silly. <gasps> Frozen Sasuni juice balls! Woo! You thank you so much. much! To the best babysitting team ever! Aww! <laughs> <laughs> Scratch and share.
Tougher than a stale fishy poof cracker. Come on, Grok. Don't you want to share? Sharing is caring. <laughs> B, I think it's time for a song. What do you say, Grok? Can I share a song about sharing with you? Oh, please say yes. <laughs> sharing spirit. <laughs> okay, let's play again. This time, I'll go in the middle. Bartleby, you throw to the triplets. <laughs> All right, let's try this again. Floating Lotus Striking Tiger King. <laughs> wow, Bartleby, that went really far. <laughs> yeah, maybe a little too much tiger, not enough lotus. <laughs> That's just a rock. Any luck, Drew? No, I can't find it anywhere. But watch your step, Bartleby. Hey, guys, over here. I think I found a ball. It's right next to this, this stick thing. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, hold on. So what is this for? <laughs> No, still confused. <laughs> you know when you have an itchy spot on your back that's too hard to reach? Well, now you can scratch that itch. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, ah. it's just a scratching stick. Huh? This isn't just any scratching stick. <laughs> it's an extra special. <laughs> super duper. Oh, la, 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 la. Great scratching stick of the never ending forest. Oh, I got one of those. See? Oh, that's good. <laughs> Scratching is really important to Yetis because their big fuzzy coats get super itchy. <laughs> oh, yeah, I might need a cat nap. All this excitement is making me see red. I see it too, Bartleby. It's a red Yeti. A red Yeti? <laughs> Does this mean we can sing the sharing song again? <laughs> Maybe not right now, Bartleby. I'm going to go try and talk to him. Okay, I'm here if you need me. Hi there, I'm True, and these are my friends. Can we be friends with you? <laughs> well, a fun way to be friends is to share. Want to try? See? Now you're both having fun. 
Now everyone's having fun. We've never seen a Red Yeti before. Are you here all by yourself? Uh -uh. Uh -oh. Another Red Yeti? Oh. <laughs> It seems like the scratching stick is a big deal to the Red Yetis, too. <laughs> Mine! 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 Now can we sing the sharing song? I don't know if it'll even work, Bartleby. Mine! 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 If you're riding the ice cream bus... Uh, no, that's not it. If your hair is... Um... Everyone! Everyone! Mine! 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 <laughs> The scratching stick! <laughs> Wait, don't go! Okay, this is really weird, Bartleby. Oh, what's going on? I'm not sure, but it all started when the Yetis didn't want to share. Then the scratching stick was taken. And the forest started falling apart? Hmm, maybe if we find another scratching stick, everything will go back to normal. Hey, here's a stick! Okay, stand back, Troop. This is a job for a kitty naughty ninja cat. Uh, Bartleby? Nothing happened. What? Ah, hairballs. I've got a bad feeling about this. Oh, true. Thank goodness. I'm afraid we need your help. Forest critters are flooding into Rainbow City. idea why this might be happening. Well, there's a slight problem with the never-ending forest. And it's all because the red and blue yetis aren't sharing. And the scratching stick is missing. The great scratching stick of the never-ending forest is missing? Oh, dear. The forest is at peace as long as everyone is getting along. If no one is sharing and the stick is missing, everything in the forest is going to fall apart. Don't worry, Rainbow King. Bartleby and I are on it. I hope he's exaggerating. <laughs> Not exaggerating. We need wish help. Oh, Cumulo! <laughs> to the wishing tree, please. Go, go, Cumulo! <laughs> Thanks, Cumulo. We'll be back in a flash. There's just no waking this little guy. Z, we need help. True, Bartleby! Join the party! This forest critter just suddenly showed up at the wishing tree. It's because the forest is in chaos! And the critters all left! So they moved into the city... And onto your desk! Because the Red Yetis took the scratching stick! Which made the Blue Yetis really upset. And do you know there are Red Yetis? Red! Living here! In Rainbow Kingdom! Okay! Uh, there's a lot going on! But sit... and have a think. Okay, True, how can the wishing tree help you? First, I need a way to fix the forest so that the critters can go back to their homes. Yes, that would... Ah! Oh, oh! <laughs> yes, please help these critters get back home. Then, I need a way to find the scratching stick and put it back where it belongs. 
The wishing tree has heard you, True. It is time to get your three wishes. I'm ready. Wishing tree, wishing tree, please share your wonderful wishes with me. group of wishes. Now, let's see what the Wishipedia says about their powers. This is Riwi. Riwi! Good to see you again, Riwi. Remember, Riwi is a backwards wish. It can make anything go in reverse, but it only understands when you speak backwards. Right, I am? Perfect. Riwi can help put the forest back to normal. So, um, Riwi, me, help you can? Next up is Snorful. <laughs> Snorful is a smelling wish. It can find anything using its super sensitive sniffer. Snorful, I know you can help us track down the scratching stick so we can put it back where it belongs. <laughs> Just remember, Snorful's legs are super speedy, so don't fall behind. Got it. And thirdly, we have Burrow. Burrow. Nice to meet you too, Burrow. Burrow is a mighty wish that can tunnel its way through anything. That's incredible. Hmm, I'm not sure how tunneling underground will help our problem above ground. I'm going to have to dig deep on this one. <laughs> <laughs> Zoo Zip Zap wishes in my pack. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Z. Wishing you lots of luck. <laughs> Wishing. <laughs> Good one, Z. It's true. She's going to fix everything. <laughs> to my fuzzy new fascinator. <laughs> Thank you, Kimuo. <laughs> now let's turn things back to normal. Time for my first wish. Zip, zap, zoo, I choose you. Oh, right, I forgot. Z said I have to talk to Riwi backwards. Um, let's see. You choose I, zoo, zap, zip, true, come, wish, Riwi, up, wake. Riwi, hi. Help to ready? Oh, you said ready to help? <laughs> me too. Um, to me. Berries back, bring. <laughs> Yeah! Oh, berries, we missed you. Oh, do the mushrooms now. That wasn't supposed to happen. Or that. And definitely not that. <laughs> Hairballs! This is a really big problem. Even wish power can't help the forest. I think Riwi's feeling down a little bit. But but this isn't Riwi's fault, right? <laughs> Worry, don't. Fault you're not it's. Trying for <laughs> thanks. Pack the M back now. Riwi! <laughs> oh no, you're all so hungry and tired and. It really does seem like the only way to get the forest back to normal is for us to find the scratching stick. But how are we gonna find it? That's where Snorful comes in. Time for my second wish. 
Zip Zap Zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Snorful! Wish come true! Hi, Snorful! Snorful! Do you think you can sniff out the scratching stick? <laughs> Erg was the last one to use the scratching stick, so get a whiff of him. That'll put you on the right track. Oh. <laughs> 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 Some of my fishy poof crackers. Oh, da -ba -da -ba -do. Mm. Good sharing, Bartleby. <laughs> Behind the rocks? Hey, I think I hear something. The Red Yetis must be on the other side with the scratching stick. But, True, how are we gonna bust through this wall? If we can't make it through the wall, we'll just tunnel under. Thanks for helping us with your sniffer, Snorful. Now tuck yourself back. Zip zap zoo, I choose you! Wake up, Burrow! Wish come true! Hi, Burrow! The scratching stick is on the other side of this rock mountain. Can you tunnel under it? <laughs> go, Burrow, go! <laughs> Right, True. There's lots of red yetis. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm True, and this is Bartleby and Grok. And I think you already know Erg. Hi! Hi! Oh. 
Thanks for your help, Burrow. I really dug having you around. <laughs> now back in the pack. Now let's put this sharing stick back where it belongs. I hereby rename the great scratching stick of the never-ending forest to the great sharing scratching stick of the never-ending forest. For all scratchy itches, big and small. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> You can never underestimate the power of a good sharing song. You're right, Bartleby. Let's sing. Sharing is caring. Run, 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 run. 